Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So what have I got for you today? Well, this looks like a rather complicated system, doesn't it? Let's start from the top. Basically, we've got a house in Poland which we leave unoccupied in winter and we empty out the central heating water system and what we want to do is have, a, have a, an ability to protect the water inlet because that's the only part we can't empty. So I cooked up a system using one of my Raspio Duino boards which I'm prototyping at the moment, still developing. Um, basically what we've got here is two temperature sensors and two heat sources which I'm using light bulbs but any other heat source would do and what the um, Duino board is doing is it's controlling uh, when the temperature sensors read a particular temperature threshold it's controlling whether or not the heat sources are switched on the idea being that if the temperature in the inlet pipe goes down to nearly zero then it will turn on some heat to stop it from freezing so obviously I've set it to a higher temperature because I'm in room temperature at the moment I've set it at 22 degrees so the components of the system are here we've got an old pipe which I've just put here for demonstration purposes two temperature sensors two heat sources two relays a Duino board which is sitting on top of the Pi the Pi is used to program it we've also got two indicator LEDs the Pi is used to program the Duino board and the Duino board can be used off Pi if you power it separately. Over here we've got an HDMI Pi screen which is showing you a readout of the current values. Let's just zoom in over there and have a look. Sensor 124.4 and sensor 2 22.4. So it's all powered by my bench power supply so the Arduino code is set up to measure five measurements and average them and then it stores the average of those five measurements in an array and does a moving average of that so that the uh, final temperature which decisions are made on is quite a smoothed temperature and it doesn't fluctuate ridiculously but once it decides to switch on the heat it leaves it on for 30 seconds that's been put in place to stop it from oscillating on and off on and off too frequently we also have a couple of indicator LEDs here and there's a capacitor for each of the temperature sensors to help smooth out fluctuations in the supply voltage. So I'm using two digital outputs to control the relays, I'm using two PWM outputs to control the LEDs and I'm using two analog inputs to read the temperature sensors so we're using a little bit of, of everything of what the Duino can do we're also using the serial port connected to the Pi by two jumpers and those three jumpers are only needed attached when you are actually programming the Duino so there's a, a bit of Python code as well which is about 50 lines which uh, is used to read the output from the Duino board and that's using the serial port on both the Pi and on the Duino board. So here on the readout you have the current measurement, the smoothed measurement and the average analog to digital converter readout. Those are from the Duino and here you've got the smoothed results from the Python script and the voltages. So we're just waiting now for the relay on lamp number two to trigger which it should do within the next minute or two when it goes you should hear a click and you should see things get brighter as well there you go and now we should see this number start to rise yep, it's already up at 24 and that will stay on for 30 seconds before testing to see if it's still above 22 and if it is then it will switch off. The other thing I wanted to show you is that if I just minimize that one here you've got the Arduino code and you'll see that the Duino board was programmed 
using the Arduino IDE which is a um, modified version of that which has been modified by Gordon Henderson it's the same version as is used for the GERT board and that makes it really straightforward all you've got to do is focus on the code simple so there you have it a temperature control system made using a Raspberry Pi a power supply and Arduino board. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.